Hello everyone, happy Friday and welcome to tonight's stream. We have officially made it through the week and I hope everyone has had a good one and that you're ready for the weekends. I know I am. Um, we are back in ARC today to play with our dinosaur friends. Um, I did put in a couple of hours. I know I said I wasn't going to do as much off-screen work in this map and I didn't do much, but what I did do took a really long time. Um, we were out of storage the last time, if you remember at the end of last episode, even my smithy, which holds a ton of stuff, had just become a drop chest and we had no space anywhere. Um, so I needed more storage, uh, which mean, meant I needed a bigger base. So that's all I did, but it probably took me like four hours of gameplay. So, <laughs> uh, and we have some other, a couple other things as well. Uh, let me say hello to everybody and then I'm gonna bring you up to date with everything. Um, but yeah, I can't unpause yet. And I'll explain why in a moment with that too. Uh, Pat, Kevin, Brand, Mike, Jens, Christy, Wander, Sarah, welcome. Good to see you. Lily is here and Pi, welcome. And John, good to see you, John. Did I say Jens? Welcome. <laughs> all right. So <laughs> let me let me bring up the screen first of all. Uh, come on, Streamlabs. Work with me here. This is another one of the, there it is. Okay. Um, so you can't see it because it's a little dim. Um, it's a little dim. But this right here that's blending in with this rock is a saber tooth. I have everything arranged, guys. Everyone is lined up. All of the tames are in their little groups. We had multiple bouts of chaos during these couple hours. We took we had some losses. Uh, we did lose some friends. I left the door open again. Uh, so we went from four Jerboas down to two, uh, Gizmo and oh, I'll look, well, I'll show you which two are still left. Um, so that happened. We also lost a, a kangaroo, um, but we gained new friends. I have seven, seven things for you to name. This little wolf is one of them right here. You can see it doesn't have a name. Uh, so we need seven names, <laughs> but everything was so neat, guys. Everything was so organized, but this is going to thrust us directly into chaos. So um, let's do that. And then I will show you the new base. We're going to hop on Stormy real quick and hope that this, like maybe, nope, everyone's in on it. Okay. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, the wolves handled it. Rue got involved, but the Ru the wolves handled it mostly okay. Okay. Now they're a little unorganized, but... There were some terror birds running around, too. Who ate the body? Anybody eat the body? You'll see as I'm popping up my inventory, I've got two treasure maps. I found them when I was moving my tames around, we got attacked by so much stuff uh, that they were just picked up. <laughs> they were just picked up. Oh, Windy and Gale. Okay, so we have two to name. This is one. Um, I tamed her. I knockout tamed her. So she actually got over 200. So she's our new highest level wolf. Um, so Gale seems like a perfect name for her. Let's do it. Some of these I'm going to take note of so you guys can have a second to think through it um, and we can contemplate. This one right here with the rusty colored back um, is the other one. Um, let's see. So the names we had left were Wendy and Gale. Do we have anything? I was thinking maybe Sand or Sand. He's a boy, though. Because we already have Dusty being this kind of gray one. But I feel like sand or sandy, rusty. Is rusty weather related? We could name him Storm, like Sandstorm. Oh, we have a Stormy already. We already have Stormy over here. Haboob? <laughs> you lost me on that one. All right, let's move Rue back out of the way. So these are our new ruse. This is Hops. Hops has been our loyal mount the entire time. Um, and now we have, oh, a haboob is a, a sandstorm. I don't think I've ever heard that word before. 
Um, and then I claimed this one. Um, I found her as a baby down the river, basically the same place we found hops. Uh, so I named her Kanga, and then they had a baby, and this is Rue. Rue is a fully imprinted kangaroo. Uh, this is our new um, main kangaroo mount. He's got some leveling to do so that we can get him caught up to uh, hops over there, but he should be better. I like it. I've never been out west before, but I like it. We're going to name him Haboob. <laughs> uh, it'll sound weird to those who don't. It's one of those, like, if you know, you know moments. Like, it, it'll seem weird to people like me who don't know. But for people that do know, it'll make perfect sense. Okay, so these are our other friends. Um, we have two Gallimimus. I was walking outside when I was doing this fence line. Uh, and they were attached together. They were two little babies attached together, um, kind of fused in place. So I used my new whip. I finally made a whip. Uh, I separated them and I claimed them. They happen to be a boy girl pair and they can pull a cart. So I hatched babies from them. Uh, so we have imprinted babies. Uh, we have two imprinted babies and we're going to try these guys as our cart puller. Uh, they don't have a ton of weight, but galleys are super duper fast. Um, so we'll see. Minor and major, those are good. Minor and major. Don't let me forget that because I'm going to run through everybody else. Um, I parked all the Morella tops here and I put them on passive. So at least if everything goes horribly wrong, they're just going to chill here. Hopefully everything else will save them if something goes horribly wrong. But the four of them getting in on every fight is really what made things like completely pile up into a nightmare. Hey, Nunky. Uh, we also have this terror bird. I found a terror bird, baby. I don't know what we're going to do with it, but we found it. <laughs> I don't know why it got extra levels either. It was a 150 and now it's a 157. Oh, because I put levels into it. <laughs> That's why. Because I assigned it levels. Yeah, it was a 150 as the base. So we have a terror bird. Um, and then that's it. Everything else is the same. Our old house was right here. I moved it down so that it would make kind of sense. I didn't want to build onto what we had because that made moving our storage kind of really weird. Um, so I built new and we built closer to the water. I did leave this deliberately... Um, Oh, like cassowary. Cass is good. Uh, is she a girl? She is a girl. All right, let's go with Cass. I like that. Because cassowaries are terrifying. <laughs> we got some stuff over there, too. 125 dire wolf. All right, so anyway, this is our base. I left it nonsense just to demonstrate for you guys. I love that the new pack came with like the skins for the doors and stuff. So even though this is like a hodgepodge of, of just mess, we can make it look normal. Um, so anyway, I also made a torch so you guys can see what's going on. Uh, but we've got stone flooring. We've got wood flooring. We've got metal flooring. There's adobe flooring. We've got stone walls and adobe walls. <laughs> And we've got adobe ceilings and stone ceilings. It's just all everything. But look, we have a we have a little patio that looks out over the water. <laughs> um, so now what we can do, uh, I waited just so that I could show you guys what it looked like before. And now we can make it all look like nice western wood. And suddenly everything matches again and nothing looks terrible and it's all perfectly matched. Oh, also I um I built this little adobe um room. I don't think I'll really need it in this area, but Adobe is the one that protects you from the weather best. Um, so I built this little square section is 100% Adobe. 
I don't think we'll need it. I don't think it's going to be relevant here. Um, but I don't know. It, it seemed like a good idea. I want to do the wall. Is this the... Nope, I want the window. And we'll make it less claustrophobic in here. Oh, no, I want that. Oh, no, you know what we should do? Hold on. <laughs> it's a jail cell! It's a jail cell. Oh, we totally have to put the toilet in it. Maybe I get rid of the glass walls and we put a toilet. My bed's already in here. And we'll have a little jail cell in the corner. <laughs> I love that. All right, let's finish doing the roof. By finish, I mean just do it in general. So yeah, I love that this exists. I think it's so good. Even though I'm just realizing that not all the slats go the same way because it matches up to what you did with the ceiling piece. But we're just not going to look at the ceiling because this took me like 90 minutes to build. The majority of that time, to be fair, was just gathering the stupid amount of resources that this took. A couple of these walls are backwards. Because that's the outside. I might have to fix that. But I'll do that later. That's the outside as well. Okay. Yeah, some of the walls are backwards. <laughs> we're just not going to... We're not going to think about that. Um, but I did want to put glass on like this whole side of the building and then I also figured out that if it's a double door you can do the um, saloon door so now we have like the saloon doors on it so there we go my house looks kind of normal. Um, I installed a mod for cosmetic lighting, which just means that like these lights don't give off any kind of heat or anything, but they only take one fuel and they never die. Um, so just for the ease of lighting and streaming, I built these so that I don't have to worry about refueling them and going through stuff. Um, yeah. <laughs> It seemed like a good idea. Um, and then I've got my forge and my campfire out here on the front porch. Now, it, defensive walls, they're not great. Um, they're a mishmash of random stuff that I found. Um, and then I found some really big flaws in them <laughs> immediately. <laughs> uh, so we've got this side walled off right up to a giant uh, behemoth gate. And then this I was really excited to do with a behemoth gate because originally I had this like walled off with a couple different pieces but it pretty much perfectly fits with one big gate the problem is that little ledge right there you can walk right in it you can walk right up and over that <laughs> so it's not completely secure but it lessens the chances that something is going to path in there same thing over here I built this wall and then realized that you could just walk up this way. So I closed this in uh, down there and then it comes to here. So the other thing I wanted to try was I built this because I didn't want to totally block the view if I wall off the water. But I want I wonder how it will look if I were to. Oh, can I not do it? Can only be placed on walls. Oh, maybe because I put them as window walls. I'm wondering how it would look to do like the glass on this line. So it's like one big glass wall instead of the little windows. I might try that. Um, clearly, the only way to fully protect ourselves from the chaos is to completely finish walling in the water, which is a monumental task. Resource gathering in this is no joke. 
Um, it took a long time. What is chasing that thing right there? What is chasing it? The wolf. Okay. They're gonna keep chasing it that way. See, that's the problem is they're not really aggroing to me necessarily, but things are coming in line with us because of stuff that they're chasing out in the world. But yeah, it took a lot. The trees, all the trees kind of near me are gone and Figment is not very strong. Only level 84. So it makes me nervous taking him out because I'm not sure he'll survive. His health is only 1,200. Um, so I, I got nervous and I brought him home and I just used the, the rue to go pick up <laughs> wood. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a lot. Oh, I forgot to do this section. I forgot to do this sec- oops. There we go. I might need to change these to be stairs. Because this just looks like roof shingles on a slope. Not sure I love that. I might need to make these stairs instead. Hey, you're rushing. Good to see you. Technically none on stream. <laughs> so I think the first thing is let's see where our treasure maps are. Can I do both at the same time? That one is 15 that way. Oh, that's off the... Oh, we haven't been there yet. We haven't even been where this treasure is. I didn't realize that there was still so much we haven't uncovered. I wonder... Can I do two? I can do two. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, they're near each other, so that helps. Um, I want to put one on, but it's, it, like, wants to trigger it right here, like, on the one that's here. Okay. So, let's do treasure. Make it red. And then, nope. Mark this one. I just want to get near it so we kind of end up in the... Oh, can I not mark here because we haven't been here? Oh, no, I can. Okay. Uh, treasure two. Also red. Perfect. Okay, so now when we're mounted... Oh no, you're not my mount anymore. <laughs> Sorry, Hops. <laughs> you don't get to come. Now when we're mounted, we can still see those. Oh, we didn't see what your bows are left. Right. Um, Sorry, thank you. Uh, Gizmo and Gremlin. We've got Gizmo and Gremlin left. A breeding pair. Not that I think we really need one. But yeah, Gizmo and Gremlin. Oh, maybe I should put them in the jail cell. You know what? I'm gonna do that. Oh, nope. Oh, no, he like fuses into the bed. Nope. Maybe if we do it that way? Okay, that puts him into the corner. This way, if I leave a door open by accident, they can't get out. And we do have seafoam. Yes, seafoam was on my shoulder. So seafoam is also safe. Okay. The Jerboas are in jail. <laughs> they are in jail. Living their best life. We've got a sandstorm. So let me run you through, since we got a sandstorm, uh, all the stuff I found in drops. We have a major problem with my armor because my ghillie armor is really good, but it takes organic polymer to fix and a lot of it. I don't remember what the fourth one's name was. 
Mogwai was one of them, but I don't remember the other one. Tribe manager would tell me. Uh. Oh, those are Jerboas. Tadpole. Wait, your tribe killed Mogwai? Oh no, I killed it? Oh, I knew I killed Skippy, but I didn't know I killed... So the problem was I ran into these fights and you can harm your own tames. So like they were already in the middle of a fight and I hit them by accident. I didn't realize I killed Mogwai though. I knew I did that to Skippy. Like I delivered the death blow in the middle of the fight. <laughs> but I didn't know that I gave the death blow. I didn't know I did that. Whoops. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Whoopsies. <laughs> Thank you, Rabbit. Good to see you. Oops. No, I didn't know I did that. That's the problem with not getting on a tame and going in with a weapon. Because my tames, like if I'm riding a tame, they can't hurt each other. But if I'm on the ground stabbing stuff, then I can hurt anyone, which is unfortunate. Um, so we've got a bunch more building pieces. I found another behemoth gate, so I might use that to gate off something else. Um, and we've got a couple pieces that I'm going to start using towards building a trap. Uh, I found a tent in a drop, so we have a backup tent now. This is my box of stuff that I'm probably never going to use. Like the underwater mine and the 45 pound sh uh, shields and the remote keypad like stuff that i'm just never gonna never gonna do i've got building pieces in this we're up to 30 water intakes absolutely insane we got some decent saddles for the first time ever i got a rex saddle i've never gotten a good rex saddle before ever and we have one a mastercraft one um, so we're already ready if we do that. We've got a spare raptor saddle. I don't even know if there are iguanodons. If we could manage to get a tapir, that would be awesome. We'd have a good saddle for it. We've got an Anki saddle. Um, a lot of these we already had. A Carno saddle, Deodon. The moth. If we could get a moth, we have a saddle for it. Capro. Yeah, the tent is for if you're out in a weather event, it will protect you. Um, so like if you're in a sandstorm or a heat wave, being inside the tent will help you. And then, yeah, we've got plenty of spare armor, just not as good as the stuff that's about to die. Um, I started t saying that. So we need a huge amount of organic polymer to repair these things. And organic polymer comes from the desert, the dunes part of the desert. You get it from killing the sandworms. Or the mantis, but sandworms. The big giant worms in the sand. If you kill them, you get organic polymer. So... That's going to be interesting. That is going to be an interesting endeavor. Um, yeah. We do have a tumbleweed in our house. <laughs> the tumbleweeds like aren't interactable, so they keep coming through the house. But I think that's it. Um, I got some oil jars, which is interesting. You can create an oil slick that you can light on fire. And yeah, I think nothing else super interesting. So a couple things I want to work towards. We need to be able to go do organic polymer. I'm not sure exactly how to do that. Um, watching Brian yesterday, he used a thyla to do it and it was totally fine so maybe we work towards a thyla to get a thyla we're gonna need a trap for sure um so i need enough materials to make traps which is a whole thing but i'd also like to make cryopods so that if we do trap good things and i can carry them home like if i trap something over by these treasures. That's a long way to get something home, as we discovered. So I would like to get cryopods. Uh, the problem with cryopods is they also need organic polymer. 
Let me take a look, though, and see if we have everything else. Uh, cryo. Metal ingots, polymer. Oh, crystal, too. Okay. 30 polymer for the cryo fridge. And we would need electricity. Yeah. We would need electricity to make this work. They changed the cryopods so you can only use them... You can only deploy the creature near a cryo fridge. So we would need electricity, then we would need a cryo fridge, then we would need cryopods. It's a lot. <laughs> the parasaur is not ours. The parasaur is just wandering around. Actually, you know what? The parasaur is what cost us Skippy. Because the parasaur is what got chased in here by the saber tooth that like caused all the chaos. <laughs> so I haven't killed it yet, but it's just chilling. It's stuck there. We had a um a doed stuck in here at one point too. To one thirty. All right, let's go get the treasure. My Parasaur thing, I don't think I'm going to go with it anymore because we have the Gallimimus now. I'm going to try them for pulling the cart and see how it goes. Um, There's a Raptor out there. Okay, we're going to be out of render distance, so these guys should be fine. Hopefully. I mean, should be. Famous last words, right? Wait, let's just take a quick second. Do I have everything I want to have? I have my shovel. I've got food. I'm not thirsty. The Rue has food and a tent and already has some points. So let's pump his weight up. He's got a long way to go before he catches up to his dad. Got more wolves. Terror birds. I really don't need my torch. <laughs> I also, my mod that does like the reusable um, parachutes and stuff does the torch that doesn't die. So I used that too, so I'm not constantly remaking this torch. Only because I probably wouldn't bother with the torch if it wasn't for trying to give you guys the ability to see what's going on. <laughs> We're gonna take this path so I skip the section that we have to swim through. Oh, uh, the worst thing happened to me, too, when I was getting that terror bird. I got attacked by four micro raptors at once. Like, apparently they travel in packs now, and they're absolutely miserable to deal with. They knocked me down. It was terrible. One of these was a good treasure map, and one of them was a primitive one, so... Interested to see what we end up with. I was wanting to tame a Rue that was going to be like a 150 that we could get to a 225. But I think for exploration purposes, like this guy's going to be just fine. I don't think we need to go out of our way to try to tame one. Uh, we ended up killing them. Yeah, we survived it, but it was it was rough. It was not easy. What is the noise? Are we heading towards any drops? I'll grab any drops we see along the way too. Water. I also need to find the closest oil spot to me. There's a yellow drop there. Oh no, it's a green drop. It just looked yellow because of the sun. Alright, so it's this way-ish. Can we... All right, is it safe to get off? Oh, whoop, okay. <laughs> Whoopsie, wrong button. That's okay, that just told it to go somewhere. You're on neutral, that's good. But I wanted the map button. Okay, so the treasure map thing wore off.
They follow me in case this goes horribly wrong. Uh, seven. Or within range. I love that you just have to be in range, then you can do it. Uh, that's a really good metal pick. 291. A little bit better than what we've got. The rest of it's garbage. Alright, so let's delete this one. We don't need it anymore. And... Well, let's head towards the other marker and then we'll consume the map. Also, let's just save. We haven't had any crashes, but I feel like, you know, <laughs> be safe. <laughs> hey, Yeti, good to see you. It's like there's a sandstorm, but I can't see it. We've got the sandstorm symbol. Sounds like a sandstorm. But I see no sand. And we're definitely moving slowly. This is me trying to sprint, and we're not heavy. I know, fur armor is so funny. <laughs> I think I told the story last time when we got treasure, but I watched somebody get a treasure map and they were all excited and it was like a Mastercraft one and they went and dug it up and it had a Manta saddle in it. That was it. Just a Manta saddle. Completely useless on this map. <laughs> you can transfer stuff between maps. So like theoretically, if you found something like stupid good, you could just transfer it back to the other map, but... I can't imagine finding anything good enough to make that worth the effort. Hello, Wolfie. Alright. Death bird. It's almost like it didn't see me. Is this a visible sandstorm? It's not a lot of effort. It feels like a lot of effort. <laughs> it's a lot of effort in my mind. <laughs> All right, let's see. Ah, we're already in range. Perfect. Oh, actually, you know what? This is super helpful. The Pelagornis saddle, not so much. But the metal and the, the building pieces, super helpful. Because I want to have trap building supplies. Alright, so let's do the thing. And delete that waypoint. Okay. I also found metal. When I was running around, I found more metal over here. So I marked it so we can go back and find it. It's literally as simple as putting it in one obelisk and then picking it up from another. Alright, that's not as bad. All right, so I'm tired. Oh yeah, look, I'm out of stamina. That was the sandstorm, the invisible sandstorm. Huh. That's the first time we've had that kind of a visual thing. All right, there's a red drop over there. Let's see if we can make it. Let's see if we can make it. I don't feel at all prepared to get something like a Thyla, but I don't know that what I have right now is anything even remotely strong enough to go check out the dunes. I might try it, honestly. Like, I might just, like, strip down and sacrifice somebody to go see if we can make it. <laughs> I mean, if it went well, everyone would make it back. But I feel like we'd have to go into it knowing that somebody's potentially going to get sacrificed. Oh, hello. What level are you? 115? 95. I want one of these, but not enough to... Like, let's hold out for a 150. Why is that red? There's another moth over there. Uh, that's a level 30. Birds don't care. Oh yeah, we were supposed to be going for this drop. I got distracted. 
Oh, it doesn't look like it's down, though. Okay, that's good. There's a lot of random red on the map right now. Uh, this way. It's got a lot of weird shadows and lighting. Yeah. This is arc. Don't get attached. The red lighting thing is just weird because, like, we've run around for a lot of different nights. What time is it? 10 o'clock? Why is it so bright outside? I mean, it's good. It's good that it's bright outside. But it's weird. Uh, the buff that the Rue had. Uh. Oh, in the top right? This thing? This symbol is just there automatically because I have the better breeding mod installed. So the better breeding mod saves time because it automatically pulls the best stats from both parents when you have a, uh, a baby. So it saves the like time and baby murder involved in getting a good mix. Um, I heard Brian talking about it yesterday. So I downloaded that mod and then that symbol I don't know if it's because he was born from that mod. Oh, hello. Oh, this might hurt. How much is this going to hurt? Oh, not that much at all. Okay, perfect. Did they take no fall damage? Because I thought that they just took reduced fall damage. Electronics. Yeah, okay, that's mostly garbage. That is mostly garbage. Totally not worth running for a red drop. Is this water, though? What's... There we go. It's like, why can't I drink? Uh, let's eat. Perfect. Um... Get your health and weight up higher. I've been avoiding everything, but I feel like we should probably kill some stuff with the Rue. Be good to see you. Did I say hello, Pacific? I can't remember now. Hello if I didn't. <laughs> Double hello if I did. <laughs> so yeah, somewhere out there in the dunes. Oh, stone building pieces. Oh no. Rue! Come on. Are you fighting back? I can't tell. There we go. I have like a shotgun and a rifle and all these things that I'm not carrying with me. Okay, so that's two more quarter walls, a gateway. A gateway is really good. The gateway will be really helpful for closing off the gaps that I have. Wheel bug. Thorny dragons, snakes, baby wolves, scorpions. We got poisons. We're like adjacent to the dunes right now. What level is this moth? 35. Yep, that's a nope. They're not very fast, and I don't think they can carry very much weight, so I want one. We have the saddle for it already. Uh, but if we're going to do it, I want a high-level one. <laughs> I know, now we have 35 water intakes. Oh, hi, baby. Carry on. 
I gotta get up higher. Can't see any drops from down here. I love all the details of like the bones laying everywhere. It's very fitting. Oh, hello, other baby. Oh, look at the little baby Anki. 152 to mutated 150. I wish the babies had the level boost again. Because you're a. Oh, Micro Raptor. See? Oh, no. Well, the good news is it hit all the wild ones, too, so. Am I hitting it with my shovel right now? I totally was. Oh, no. Oh, no. Rue. We orphaned that baby. We didn't orphan this baby, but I think it's stuck. Oh, there's two of them. There's a 150 and a 152. A 150 female and a 152 male. Hey, you Flashy, good to see you. No! God, I hate micro raptors so much. I hate micro raptors. They are literally like the worst thing in this game. For real. I hate them. All right, we killed it. Also, I'm freezing to death and I just noticed it. We're going to die. We are going to die. Uh, I guess let's try to get as close to home as we can before that happens. And the winter boots are a blueprint. Is my tent warm? No! no! Oh no! I was trying to do the tent! Uh oh. That didn't work out. Now we lost Rue! We lost Rue. All my stuff. The tent is not a spawn point. I don't think. If it is, I'd be able to fast travel. Um, no, it's not. I know. We are still freezing. But... Where did I put my metal armor? <laughs> okay. If I wear these pieces, I'm not freezing. And what do we have for hat? And booties. Here we go. Now we're not cold at all. Okay, but what are we going to take to get back there? Let's take a wolf. Um. I, who do we take? We could take a raptor. The wolf is probably faster. Let's take no, let's take Dusty. Dusty's always been good to us. Okay, last death is that way.
Let's put this into health, melee damage, and extra weight. We're carrying way too much that we don't need to. I hope Rue makes it. Ooh, weapon would have been a good idea. Uh, I don't have anything other than my guns, which I don't have bullets for. So a good idea in theory. Man, I miss being able to jump over everything. Does this thing have three babies? Oh, I don't have my spyglass. I think I miss my spyglass most of all. <laughs> yeah, Rue will be fine until we get into, de into render distance, but we left him... That's a Thyla. We left him as I was being attacked by a wolf. So there is bad stuff right there, ready to render in. I think he'll probably be okay. Sifo might not make it. It very much sounds like something's chasing me down and I'm just going to not turn and look. We do have to be careful too because the wolf will take fall damage. Oh, and we're out of stamina. <laughs> I've been very spoiled by the kangaroo. Just as I say that about fall damage, we're okay. Okay, getting everybody home is still going to be a pain in the butt because now I can't just, like, kangaroo jump my way back home. Because Dusty won't make it. <laughs> hey, Demon King! I like that I don't have to stop entirely. He regains stamina. Nope. Stay focused. We're still really far away. Yeah, I definitely have to be more careful going out at night. We're going to get our stuff and go straight home, though. I know, it'd be nice if we could put a full-grown wolf into the pouch. This is why I need cryopods. Because even if I couldn't let him back out of the cryopod until I was home... I'd be able to get him there, you know? He really did die so far away. <laughs> this is a lot longer when you can't jump giant distances in a single bound. No. I got stuck. You're 125 with a baby. Saber tooths. Oh no. It just must be extra cold over here. If you're freezing, you can get in the kangaroo pouch? Really? That's cool. Listen, I didn't want to kill you and leave your kid an orphan. You did that. This area, closer to the, um... Little RG just sitting on the ground. Closer to the sand must just be really cold. Bomana, good to see you. So now the question is, can I get there and back? We can get in the root pouch, yeah. 
Yep, we can definitely climb into the roo pouch. Uh-oh. hate when you kind of bounce sideways like that. If we can get back here, though, and clear the way, my tent is still down. So that is also an option. How do we get over there? I don't see damage numbers. Here's Rue. And sea foam. And my dead body. Ah, oh, really? <laughs> Dusty ate me. Okay, we're not freezing out here at the moment. Rue pouch would be funnier than the tent. Agreed. <laughs> Rue pouch would be funnier. All right, but we are good. Technically. All right, we're going to ride the Rue. Oh, no, we got to pick sea foam up. Dusty. I'm gonna drop some of this so that uh, he can keep up. Let's see. Health. Weight. Now we gotta go back home. And I forgot to make Dusty follow me. Alright, if the hide is gonna leave us alone, then we'll leave it alone. Navigating back with Dusty on a path that Dusty can follow without getting stuck is going to be interesting. Hyenadons. <laughs> oh, that's right. We got to turn on my uh, spyglass. Uh oh. That's a 135 Carno. Okay. Oh no, there's another one! Uh, Dusty, where the heck are you going? I want to see if he drops a loot bag. Oh, look at his footprints. That's so cool. All right. No, for real. Dusty, where did you go? Come on. Oh, hello. You have loot bags. Uh, nothing good. Nothing good. Nothing good. Okay. I, wa I want to get treasure maps. Keep an eye out for treasure maps. Level 30 RG. Saber. Come on, Dusty. I want an RG, but like, RG. Oh, crystal. Oh, there's so much of it, too. Uh. Dusty? Dusty, no! Need RG claws for anything. 
All right, Dusty, can you please just stay with me? I'm stuck. Now I jumped too far. <laughs> oh, there's so much chaos here. One hundred RG. Where are we right now? All right, so near my last death. That's all we have to remember. Uh, oh, a horse! Uh, dusty. Guys, keeping Dusty alive is going to be a whole thing. Okay, Dusty's okay. We should probably not be doing this because other RGs are going to come in. Yep. Yep, called it. I called it too late. Okay, we're carrying way too much stuff. No! Uh, we're gonna have to put him on neutral, I think. All these RGs and not one that I can keep. Alright, come on. Right now. No more lingering. No more stopping. I will leave you behind. No, I'm not gonna leave him behind. Dusty, come on! <laughs> right? More more and better RGs will spawn because of this. Oh thank goodness. Just just keep running, Dusty, please. Oh god, he's not gonna follow me off this edge. Oh, he did! Oh, Dusty, you fantastic, fantastic friend. What is that one? It's beautiful. Whoa, hello, Sabretooth. Okay, nope, we're running. Dusty, please tell me he's still with me. I care more about the Rue than Dusty. I know I keep pausing. But I care far more about the Rue than I do Dusty. Anything good in this drop? Oh, nope, because the drop is gone. We lost him again. Okay. He got stuck. That is a beautiful RG. I just need to stop going back for him is what I need to do. I rarely do things the easy way, gents. <laughs> it's a real problem. Maybe you'll have a treasure map. Level 125? One forty. Uh, nope, no treasure map. I really gotta stop stopping for this stuff. I know the best looking RGs are always terrible. 
All right, you are encumbered. You, Dusty probably is too, honestly. That might be part of the problem. What happened to you? Oh, you're happy because I leveled you up. Okay. Uh, just force feed him here for a second. Do pretty good. Half alive. I'm definitely worse off than I was before with my gear too now. Oh, I wasn't done dropping stuff off the the roo. Uh, oh, we can pump you with tons more weight. That'll help, too. Uh, Dusk's really terrible at fighting back. Like, he's on neutral. them, but I'm pretending I don't. I do see them, but I am pretending not to. Uh, metal pillars. Really? It's a little baby terror bird that just jumped off the cliff. Dusty made the ultimate sacrifice. I don't think he was carrying anything that I really want. Oh, wait, we can get his soul. That's right. When things die, you can get their souls. <laughs> I don't think I need RG Claws for anything, but I'm going to collect him anyway. If we find a good baby, we can get a baby. And maybe we can bring Dusty back. Hey, Rod, good to see you. Oh, the Gornis saddle. Right, that's the thing we picked up. Alright, let's get back. Now we can actually go fast. Is the good news. If we find a good baby, we can pick it up. I know I ignored that terror bird baby, but what I learned when I found our current terror bird is that terror birds can't be carried in the kangaroo pouch. Which was extremely painful for getting that thing back home. <laughs> so no more terror bird babies if we're really far from home because I can't carry it. I don't know why. Okay, pooping in midair is officially very funny. <laughs> Good baby meaning first baby we see. If it truly needs a home. Okay. Get a cactus. I know, but there's terror birds near home. So we just have to find an at-home terror bird. It's like the food you have at home versus takeout food. We just need an at-home terror bird or cryopods. You are gorgeous. We do not need another saber. But look how green it is. There we go. New baby.
Here we go. Scooped it into the pouch. Let's, uh... Oh, we gotta feed it. We gotta feed it. Uh... Take the spear, because I lost one. No, can I get to the baby? Yes. Okay. <laughs> that is the story of my life in this game. I'm like, we don't need more babies. And then I collect a whole bunch of babies. Ooh, stone building parts. I want these because I want to keep... I want to be building up to a trap. What a, what saddle was that? Oh, another moth saddle. All right. Was that a micro raptor? No. Oh, if you kill my baby, I mean, I'm already going to kill you. Yeah. Oh, no. 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 Oh, no. I couldn't get on fast enough. We lost our baby. <laughs> we lost our baby. No, don't jump down. I was trying to stay up there. This is why we can't get attached to babies until we get them home safely. I want back into that fight. That was a 150 baby Anki, and I wasn't going to get one of those. But, like, if I can get it for free. Oh, I thought you were dead. Now you're dead. Oh, but so is the baby. You're not dead. Yay! Oh, this was a level 80 just like Dusty. Gosh, we did not need this thing. And pick up the baby. We're right here. Like, this is home. I didn't even have to pick up the baby. This is what I mean about my defensive fence, though. Look how defensive this fence is. Whee! <laughs> Straight into the base. <laughs> hey, DBS, good to see you. All right. Um, remove from the pouch. Come join your wolf pack. This is the new baby. It is the weakest of them all. The new baby is like a very dark gray. It is actually kind of dusty colored. He has food. I did feed him. <laughs> he has such big ears. The babies are the best. I mean, I loved this game already, but the babies just really made it better. Oh, Thunder's good. We lost Dusty. These have um weather-themed names. We can name a girl Thunder. There we go. All right, you stay there. Try not to die. You're pretty. Okay, we don't need anything new. Um, okay, let's sort through my stuff because now we have a lot of stuff to sort. And I'm very over warm. Where are my regular clothes? My hat is just about dead. My gloves are dead. Got a slightly better crossbow. This one is 101.6. <laughs> 
slightly better. We'll put this one away in my gear I'm never gonna use box. Um, okay. I gotta find new pants. Oh wait, I got pants. I need to find new gloves. Nope. Uh, we'll put that away because I can't do anything with it at the moment. Can't do anything with it yet. Keep this. I'm keeping the souls in the preserving bin. I don't know. It makes sense. <laughs> It makes sense in my mind. All right, hide goes in this one, this one, yeah. Silk is in this one, angler gel. I know I have soap somewhere. I have doors in here already. All right, let's go see what is on Rue that needs to be taken off. Yeah, these are the new um, Bob skins. My base is actually made up of a complete assortment of wood, stone, metal, and adobe. But it all looks kind of matchy. <laughs> I'll put this in, electronics. Take the metal. I'll put the metal right in here. I grabbed some metal when I was out, but I haven't actually smelted it yet. I need to do that. Let's see. And a lot of narco berries. Okay, let's take the building pieces inside first. Yeah, did we even accomplish anything, guys? What did I accomplish on that run? Oh, we got the treasure. That's why we left. Okay. Trying to combine things. We're getting there. Uh, we've been water intakes. We did get a new baby, but we lost somebody. I thought about a pulling mod. I honestly thought about cheating myself in some vaults and I was like, no, I'm not going to cheat stuff in. I wanted to have like an authentic experience on this map, <laughs> but I considered it. Okay, cactus stuff, make cement. We did find crystal. I didn't have a chance to get any, but we did find it. All right, so how much crystal do I have left? 83 pieces. We were too heavily under attack at the time, so I didn't mark it. Um, I did not mark it. It's just near where I died. is the only identifier I currently have. Okay. So yeah, we're just going by like, it's kind of near where I died last. All right, we're gonna drop some of this. A lot of this I just don't need. Uh, the saddle and the thatch and the wood. And I'll take the metal arrows. But then, yeah, honestly, other than that, just ditch it. I'll let him keep a little bit of food. There we go. All right, let's put this way and then... figure out what to do next. 
We could go back for that crystal, but it's a really long way away. Really, I need to solve my polymer issues. The polymer issues are scary. Okay. So... That is everything. Yeah, look, I made my whip. <laughs> Carried a lot of, like, random food I don't need either. I might as well eat the cactus stew. Stick the rest of the stuff in here. Medical brews are just gonna go bad. No flyer yet. I do want to get a moth. I know they're like not the best, but I have two saddles for them. And I feel like it's a good starter flyer. There were a bunch of them over there. All right, everybody else be good, okay? I'm gonna put my tent here and those there in case we get jumped. But yeah, I'm thinking moth. So let's keep looking for drops and then we'll see if we find a moth. We could head back over there and get some of that crystal. I don't have enough to do the things that I want to do, a.k.a. cryopods. Uh, does my uh, is my preserver out of spark powder? It might be. Uh, do I care to go back? Well, look. It may have run out. Yeah, that's what makes the moss so easy. Is you just cover it up with a tent and you're good. Ah, uh, yep, it is not smoking. It did run out of spark powder. Thank you. Good eye, Sarah. Uh, I know, it's chat delay. <laughs> good eye. Okay, close my door. All right, now we're good. Nope, getting caught on my own team here. I don't think I can jump this. No, you can't. Oh, well, we scooched up. All right. We scooched up it. That crystal is the first crystal I've seen that's like semi-accessible to us. It's not down yet. It's just a green drop, which means it's probably garbage. I'm not going to hang out for a green drop. Is green the lowest or is white the lowest? White is the lowest? I can never remember. I know red is the best, yellow is the second best. And then I think it's purple. And then blue, green, and white, I always get confused. Is that a little baby Anki? It is. Only an 85, though. Really, I want to stop collecting babies and start knocking stuff out. I liked it a lot better when the babies could get the bonus levels. It was a lot nicer when you could swipe up a baby and it would get the extra levels. I don't have a cryo mod. I'm considering one. Because I don't really want to deal with the cryo fridge thing. I'm missing a lot of major upgrades. I don't have a fabricator. I don't have electricity. So running a cryo fridge is going to require a lot of updates. I 
This map, for some reason, I don't know if it's because I've never played it before, so I'm very, like, down the rabbit hole on just running around. But I feel very, like, at loose ends. Right? Like, on the island, I knew exactly what I wanted to do and exactly what order. But I've never done this map before, so it's this weird sense of, like... Oh, there's your parent. I was like, where's your parent? I want to get into a wolf fight. Not particularly. I do want to fight the saber, though. Sabers sometimes have treasure maps. I gotta fix my hatchet. No! I hate these pegos. No loot bag? Rue? There you are. We're leaving that pego behind. <laughs> I'm not taking it with me. They're vultures. <clears throat> All right, so. Poor little baby death bird. I'm sorry I killed your parent. I cannot take you with me. I don't feel like fighting a carno. That always ends up going horribly, horribly wrong. Uh, Equa saddle. I don't have a horse, but if I do get a horse, it will have a saddle. <laughs> All the moths are surrounded by like death and destruction to like, this would be a terrible place to get a moth. Are you going to be difficult? I just want the explorer note. Where is the explorer note? I assumed all of these little ruins had explorer notes. Is she gonna make you go in the door so your mount can't get it? I like to get the the note while I'm on the mount still, because then they get the bonus too. Yeah, they're just, oh, here it is. Not reading it though. Uh, that is a 130 moth. There's a lot of death around it, though. Oh, Inky Doo is adorable. death. The Argies are over here. I think the crystal was this way.
Yep, here it is. I don't want to kill you, RG. I would like to tame you. Even if I knocked this thing out, though. Like, I don't have anything to protect it. It would fly away. Like, the second it started torpor running, I'd be doomed. Will you just die already? Okay, now the other RG is going to come eat it. Oh no. I'm encumbered, which is a terrible thing to be right now. Ah! <laughs> this is a terrible thing to be. A level 40. Okay. For a second I thought that said 140 and I was going to be sad. And probably dead. It's not a terrible place to get an RG, honestly. Yeah, this is just gonna keep healing itself. Ooh, a moth. 135. You know what I need to do is check to see if my large bola can bola an RG. It's based on their their creature drag weight. Okay, you picked up way too much junk. I don't think I have one with me. I need to make a new one. Are you kidding? I just want some peace and some crystal. I mean, we have 137. Argy's drag weight is 150. Ooh, well then I think it would. Because I'm pretty sure the mod is for the drag weight is 200 something. Because I know it works on a Baryonyx. I have a mod for like a larger sized regular Bola that takes metal to craft. And I'm pretty sure that the drag weight on it is 200 something. Devious, thank you so much for the gifted memberships. That is amazing awesome. of you. Thank you. You're awesome. You're awesome.
You're awesome. Thank you so much. All right, that's 377 crystal. You're awesome. That's so good. And there's a little bit more here, too. You're awesome. Let's see if we can get it. You're awesome. You're awesome. All right, so another 96. You're awesome. One, two, three, four, five hundred eighty nine crystal. You're awesome. Oh, yeah, Seafoam could have held it if I needed to be able to walk with it. I tried that with metal earlier. <laughs> it didn't work. Metal was far too much for it. Oh, there's even more. Think that Karna will notice me if I, like, hide in this corner. That's a beautiful Carno, though. I don't think he notices me. I swear it was like it worked and then it didn't. Okay. Throw that closer. Okay. Got a bunch more berries. Now we need to get this stuff home. That was really good. I spent like so much time looking for crystal early on and then finally found some in a drop. We finally found some. A 70. Oh, fun. Sandstorm. And I'm going to crash. <laughs> Oh, micro raptors would be the worst right now. Go, Rue, go. This sandstorm is not invisible. Just gotta keep moving. Just keep moving. Get in my pouch. Everything would eat me. <laughs> There's not really a safe place to hang out in a tent. Anything. There's no safety here. <laughs> Is, isn't the, even though we can't run, we can still do the jump pretty well. Oh, 
lightning. It's a super cool effect. Level 5 Procoptodon. I've never tried to ride in the Rue Pouch and then direct it by whistle. I wonder if that works. gonna get stuck on all this. Level 60 thyla there's a baby thyla? Where is it? No! Why is it blowing away? Is it dead? Why is it blowing away? All that for nothing. I would have grabbed up a baby Thyla. Actually, let's... Do Thylas have a... Uh... Nope, no map. Did the baby die in the fight and its corpse was getting blown around? It must have, right? Oh yeah, you really can get in the pocket. Uh... I don't remember how to get to, uh... But yeah, here we are! <laughs> Look at my legs. The way my legs are, like, bent up behind me. <laughs> But yes, you definitely can get into the pouch. <laughs> I'm sad. I really would have loved that. It would have been a really crappy level. But at the same time... It would have been like a starting one, you know? Like we could have used it to get better levels. Bugs, ruse. All right. I'm gonna turn outlines back off. I don't want them on in general, but it can help if I'm trying to look for a little baby like that. That's sad. We must have hit it in the crossfire, I guess. All right, back towards home. What's that right there? Oh, it's a wolf. It is a wolf. Let's put that into weights. That's another Thyla. Level 95. I don't think that, like, without a trap, I don't think I can get a Thyla. Because it would just be gnawing on me. Where is your, where is your parent, Wolfie? We're not doing it. We are not doing it. That is a hyena dawn. Not doing that either. <laughs> I would like to do the boss. There's only one boss on this map, I think, right? The manticore? 
I've never done this map before. Um, so I, I don't know where any of the stuff is. I don't know where the caves are. I haven't even gone to an obelisk to see like what I need, but I would like to do the boss. I'm just kind of like putzing around at the moment, trying to get stuff established without really having a good plan. Yeah, see, look at my really good defenses. Whee! <laughs> yeah, I think the Manticore, I've heard Manticore is one of the easiest bosses in the game. I don't know where I'm going to put all this crystal because my crystal was in this box, which is not going to make sense anymore. Maybe I'll put it with my cement. Very good place for it because I'm never going to actually uh, fill this box with cement. I've heard such good things about Fable. Oh look, a pack of terror birds. This is about to go horribly wrong. And trigger the fights. Here we go. And the whole base is gonna get it on it. And they're gonna chase them way over there, I swear. Nope, I don't want to stay, actually. Hold on. It's this one. Wait, what? That's supposed to be my... I'll follow. Why are they not following me? That's weird. I even did it through the... The wheel. Uh, does the all stay one work? No, it doesn't. Weird. Yeah, I wonder why my whistles aren't working. That's definitely bugged. Gonna need you guys to uh come further into the base. But as you can see, that's what happens. Come on. There we go. Everybody is home. Everybody is safe. Okay. Now we'll go back to what we were doing. Hey, who laid an egg? Whose egg is this? It's a parasaur egg. Not even one of my dinosaurs. <laughs> Alright, this is going to encumber me horribly. I can use my whip on that stuff, can I? To grab it from further away. Aha! That worked great! <laughs> I just haven't seen a wild egg, and none of mine have laid eggs now that I think about it. Like, I haven't gotten a single egg.
Yeah, this whip is great. Okay, so much crystal, which is so good. I'm gonna stick the egg in there. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, what else have you got? Uh, saddle stuff. What were these? Equus? Dodic? Okay. Nope, not the saddle. Look how many souls of the fallen we have now. <laughs> our, our two Jerboas. I could have looked here to see who died. I collected their souls. And then we have Skippy and Dusty. So far... Wait, did I leave a saddle in there? So far we've done really good at... um. Nope, again. Put the mushrooms in. Keep the saddles out. At collecting everybody's soul. For all those that we have lost. I could turn this into window walls. I just realized it's not wood. I don't know. I feel like I'd probably get used to it. Like right now, I know where all the stuff is, you know? I know, right? It's a Souls game and you didn't even know. Uh, the mod, the Souls is part of the um, the Bob's Tall Tales as well. You need them to tame an Oasisaur. And if you tame an Oasisaur, you can bring your tames back to life if they've died. Still wearing primitive pants? No wonder these are so bad. Be wearing these desert pants. Nope. Yeah, I've got the crappy pants on. I don't need the sand. I am thirsty. bad idea. I just, I need to fix these walls. I just already know that like, I don't know. I know where the stuff is. What is chasing you? What, what is chasing you through here right now? Because it's making me nervous. I'm going to do a quick scan over here to make sure we didn't lose anybody. That wolf cub? Actually, maybe the wolf cub belongs to the wolf over there. Russian gets it. It'll be all reversey from the outside. Our food trough is good. Yeah, I just checked it. I really want to find the Oasisaur. If we get a flyer, that's what I'm going to do is like fly around until I can find one. Any loot drops? We found moths over here before, too. So we could go back to this side of the map. We've done so many other things. And I feel like that's, that's what happens in this game, right? Like, I need upgrades like power. And the stuff that I need for cryopods. And I need, I wanted a moth and we've done nothing towards either of those goals. <laughs> Getting wyvern eggs looks scary. I 
I would love one. But it looks vaguely terrifying. I know, and only one new baby. We had a lot of losses. I tried for more babies. We have been leveling up our new our new Rue though, so that's good. It is good that we've been getting some levels on this guy. To kill so many RGs. One three five. One, four, five. I gotta finish getting the pieces together that I need for a trap setup. Because right now we're kind of getting away with like cruising around. And just avoiding any combat I don't really want to be in. That looks cool. But I know if I try to go over there, I'm going to get attacked by like a worm or something. Hey, Lunas. Good to see you. I just need more building pieces. And it depends on the trap I want to do. I used to do like gates. Um, but you can also do one with walls. I've been collecting quite a few pieces from the drops today, so we might be pretty good. I don't know. So far, the only stuff I've tamed has been stuff that I kind of found by itself. You know, like our wolf was by itself. Whoa, that is a rock elemental. that did you see it turn back into a rock that is a rock elemental and it turned back into a rock as we were watching they are terrifying <laughs> yeah don't you have to hit rock elementals with a um like a cannon? Like you have to hit them with rocks or something? You have to like hit them in the head with boulders until you knock them out. Oh, I was going to make my big bola. That's what I was... Okay, we're going back. We're going back. If I could have bolted that or tried to bola it while it was right there, that would have been perfect. We're going home to make medium-sized bolas. There is an achievement for collecting all the animals, I think. I was on my way to it on the island by collecting, like, every single baby I came across. I'm fairly certain that I can medium bola a thyla, too. I think... That I might be able to medium bola a Thyla. Because that's what I liked about the... The medium bola mod is that you could, you could do so much more stuff. And bowling things is so much easier. Like, I like to bowl it and then protect it once it's down, you know? Like, that's easier to do. I am hungry.
Now the medium ones are not reusable, so I have to make a couple of them. Isla drag weight is 180. I wish I could remember the drag weight from the mod, but I'm pretty sure it was like 200. Sarah, can you look up what a baryonyx drag weight is? Do you mind? I'm guessing you're on the wiki. Can you look and tell me what a baryonyx drag weight is? Because I know that the bola works on a baryonyx. A baryonyx is 210. Then it should definitely work for an RG and uh, a Thyla if those are both less than 210. Because I know for a fact it works on a Baryonyx. That's how I got one. What am I doing? I didn't pick anything up. <laughs> and that is why the Jerboas are in the jail cell because I left with the door open. I think Sarah said it was like 160. The RG drag weight was under 200. Medium bola. Or wait, do I make that in my inventory? I do. Nope, that's a regular bola. Medium bola. Here it is. I do make it in my inventory. Charcoal, metal, fiber, and hide. What did I say that it was? How much metal? Uh, two each. Let's make four of them. Let's make five of them. Five's a nice even number. And then I need charcoal. And what was it? Fiber. Uh, I didn't grab enough charcoal. Okay. There we go. Okay. Perfect. All right, so that will make a difference. Now I still am gonna have to find one kind of by itself so that the whole world doesn't come down on me when I'm trying to do this. And I'm overheating. See, they definitely changed something because I overheat in my base now. The medium bowl is a drag weight of 255. Okay, I knew it was in the 250s. Um, those are just regular doors. I never used to overheat in my in my base before. These are Adobe gateways. I've got one stone gateway. And I've only got one gate. If it's not Adobe, you will. Yeah, but they changed something because down here by this water, even when I had no base and I was just outside. So unless being inside actually makes it worse, maybe? I'm trying to think. how I want to build like protection around it. So that's all I that's all I was meaning was that like this area has changed. Unless building a base makes it hotter inside by like definition. Being inside does make it worse. That makes sense then. That's what I was trying to figure out, is like, does that make it worse? 
Is adobe as strong as stone? I need power before I can get an AC. <laughs> I need a lot of basics. I needed metal before I could really do anything either. I don't remember what this noise means, but they're trying to tell me something. They're telling me something. Adobe is the same as wood. Okay. Okay, that makes sense then. That's what I... Oh, a red drop. That's what I was trying to figure out is why I went... Oh, hello. See, how did you guys get over here? Obviously, you chased something. I keep finding the, like my tames outside. Which is concerning. Need you to stay. I'm gonna I need to finish walling this off. Even if all I do is this type of wall right here. Like it's not gonna keep a Rex out, but it's gonna stop my guys from getting out and running away and from all these little things from wandering in. Like I want them to be able to defend themselves and defend the base. That's their purpose. But they need to come back. <laughs> right? Like I want them to defend the base and then come home after. You are beautiful. 140 Anky. I don't the problem with like the Anki on this map is I would need an RG to go with it because like you're not riding an Anki to where the metal is. Uh it is red with a ring on it, yeah. We don't have an Anki right now. Yeah, red with a ring on it is the best. Because I think the red just, or the ring just means it has more stuff in it. I need to make some spike walls. A uh, Megalosaurus saddle, pump action shotgun. Compound bow. Oh, look, more water intakes. <laughs> Just what we need. That's a good shotgun. Is it better than the shotgun I have that I'm not carrying with me? Because I do have a shotgun at home that I'm not using. <laughs> We're also right here, so I'm going to bring all this crap home. I feel like I play this game for hours and don't get anywhere. So hopefully there's enough shenanigans that this is entertaining for you guys because we've gone back and forth to base so many times and haven't really gotten anywhere. <laughs> hey, Clinton, good to see you. All right, so I have a shotgun. What's my current shotgun? Uh, 162, 325. Yeah, that's a good shotgun. That is a good shotgun. Poor water intakes. <laughs> it is still productive. We're getting things done, just slowly. Uh, saddles. I don't think that there are Megalosaurus on this map. That I know of. Cluster grenades. You lost your ghoul in Rimworld Pie and didn't even really notice the difference. 
He's annoying to keep alive, not gonna lie. I thought that the ghouls were gonna be scary, but really it's just annoying. <laughs> That's true, going out and making it back alive is an accomplishment. And thank you for reminding me about the crystal, because that alone is a huge accomplishment compared to where we started. Do I want to go back towards the Thylas? I kind of do. I want an RG, but at the same time, I'm enjoying being on land, you know? Like, I wanted to be on the ground in the island more. But at the same time, once I had a flyer, it's like, why bother, right? Like, now you can fly. Oh, did I forget to close my door again? See, that's why it's good we put the Jerboas in the jail cell. What do I need to craft the wooden spikes? On the go. Hide wood and fiber. Okay, easy enough to get. 140, Anki. You're pretty too. Not what I need right now, though. Not the priority. There's a yellow drop over here. Is that a Rex? 110 Rex. Yes, it is. All right. Well, <laughs> not going to mess with that right now. <laughs> I still want a moth, too. Oh, is this an oil spot? It is. No. I'm stuck. Oh, these bugs are terrible. I have an oil drill and I haven't found anywhere somewhat close to home to use it. But this is pretty close to home. There's two of them here too. Alright, let's uh... Oh, we already have a marker here for metal. Let's put one for oil. I found one of those oil drill thingies in a drop. Sabers. The thylas were over here. But yeah, I wanted a moth. Let's focus on a moth. Knowing that I can bowl in RG, unless I stumble. Whoa! That is a rock elemental. Oh, no! That's kind of cool, though. But see, they're just rocks. And then you get near them and suddenly, boom, it's a monster. That was cool, though. <laughs> I haven't seen any... Like, we've played a long time and haven't come across any of these rock golem things. And now, that's two in a row. Day of dawn... I do have oh shiny syndrome, one thousand <laughs> percent. I am so easily distracted. So easily distracted. Oh, can we make this jump? Yep. Is it worth it? Metal building pieces. Not really. Oh yeah, my hat and my boots. Finally dead. Uh, wait. I wonder what the line, like, because I know the, the, the moth can be bullied with the regular bola. So I wonder where that line is. I wonder if it's 150. So cool here. This is such a cool looking spot. 
Like, how cool does it look over there? No, we're not gonna make it! Oh, we were so close! We were so close to making that. Hey, Sammy, good to see you. I really thought we had that, guys. I thought we had that. Baby Dodic. We already have one of those, and we have a boy, so. If that was an opposite gender, though, I would have taken it. That drop is out in the dunes, so we're not gonna do that. Ah, Terror Bird. I know, I know, if we weren't looking for something to tame, like if I grab a baby, I'll have to take it right back home and then we have to start back where we were. Because as we discovered, they're very fragile if you're carrying them in a pouch. If it was like a, a baby that we don't have yet or that was like, ridiculously adorable. Then I would probably have done it. And I really want a moth. <laughs> I know, I want all the babies too. It's so hard. It's so hard not to just take them all. Oh, this isn't down yet. We'll save this baby. Maybe. Oh man, now the day dogs are gonna heal each other. Rue is doing a great job though. I mean, honestly. Yes, go chase that. Nope, me? Okay. Rue is holding his own. to see if the saber has oops oh it looks so weird about my cowboy hat no bag uh there is nothing worth it in this server hitch detected what did that mean i've never seen it say that before I don't know what that meant. Uh, 
A little more health, a little more melee, mostly into weights. I did see your comment. Sorry, Sarah. Don't think the regular bull is specified by drag weight as it can bowl a Yeti. And that's a 150 drag weight, same as an RG. And you can't bowl an RG. Got it. That makes sense. Oh, Rod, that's a lot of work to put into getting it to run. I was really annoyed when this first came out, not gonna lie. I had a lot of complaining type streams, more than I normally do. I'm, I don't... Sometimes I'm a little whiny, but I try not to be overly complainy. But I was getting wildly annoyed that my 4090 couldn't handle this game. What is in there? No treasure maps? Okay. Or 4080. Sorry, I have a 4080. <laughs> and then we put so much work into getting a, a Rhino, like multiple streams worth of time getting a Rhino, and it crashed my game every time I wrote it. And yeah, the ground ate mustard. That was so sad. <laughs> That was so sad. All right, let's see. Yeah, 4080. <laughs> no, I said 4090. Um, do you have a parent? You do now. See, this is what I mean. We didn't have a Carno before. Now we do. Oh no, we can't put the Carno in the pouch. Oh, I finally found the moths too. Watch one of those moths be really good. 150. <laughs> There's a 150 moth right there. Of course there is. Oh, this Carno baby's totally gonna die. Especially since I didn't feed it. <sighs> we did find our new Chaos Beach, that's for sure. There's Carnos over there. I'm surprised that none of those Carnos triggered as like this one's parent. The 65. Are you the 150? You're the 65. That's a cool colored RG with the orange wings. 140. That's the 150 moth. Can I... Keep missing. Okay. Oh no. Oh, it farted on me. Oh, this is going to be so bad. I'm stuck. Okay, I'm really gonna need you to stop attaching yourself to me. gonna go so bad yeah don't get attached to this carno baby okay 
You really need to, like, back off. Why does he keep doing that? We're going to knock this thing out. And then we're going to try to take this Carno baby home. The... Oh, good, it's down. I thought it was dead. Good thing I have a second tent. Uh, where's the baby? Where did the... Where did the baby go? There you are. Nearly dead. Why did you leave me? We're so far from home. All right, can you stick with me, please? Because this is about to be a very long walk. That's a micro raptor. Please stick with me. That's so true. Like any other kid, right up in your business until the most inconvenient of times. Oh, this baby. No, he's bloody already. Like, he can't take more hits. Okay, come on. No! Oh, the dire wolf got him. Uh, we tried, guys. We tried. The best I had was Mejo Berries. It was going to take 14 Mejo Berries. Too. Sorry, I didn't even say hello, soul. There's a wolf cub running this way. I know. I was trying to... We were getting attacked, so I was trying to get the baby somewhere safer. That backfired. We're still going to stay on a render of the moth, though. Because it's going to take a while. I have to, uh... Fix my... Buy glass. There we go. What's this moth? 105? All right. Not the micro raptors. No. Gosh, I hate those things. With like a fiery passion. The moss should be okay. We we left render. It's in the tent still. I'm not sure how quickly they wake up is the only thing. So we're going to be prepared. You're a cool looking wolf.
I'm gonna keep an eye on its torpor is the only thing. Yeah, the tent's almost dead. I'm really glad I have a backup. <laughs> I found one. Okay, well. We're jumping. I didn't want to. But we are. That's just a level 30. It took 14 berries. That's 14 beads. You saw someone get swarmed by full eight of them. There was four at once on me earlier, which is insane. Like, one of them is bad enough, but four was terrible. I can't even imagine eight. Are there any drops around? Like, I don't necessarily want to go all the way home. There's still more stuff I want to accomplish. And if the thing starts waking up, we've got to be ready to go back for it. We're having a really bad success rate with babies tonight. <laughs> Just need some... Drops in this area would be amazing. Okay, we're going sideways. Terror birds, and thorny dragons. Need something cool. Hey, Emily, good to see you. We're just gonna keep hopping along until we find something interesting. Super cryo storage mod. I never did any mods on ASE when I played. Did I use any mods? I don't think I did. Not like in this one. I have a couple on this one. But yeah, being able to cryo things, like if I could have just cryoed that baby and brought it home. A journeyman whip. Huh. Probably still not as good as my reinforced whip. I got no shoes, no hat. Micro raptors. There are a shocking number of things like wolves. Oh right, I did have the um the um Is that a baby Jerboa? It is. I did have the, the spyglass. You're right. Listen, I was just trying to run around. I wasn't trying to murder you. I forgot about the spyglass mod. Yes. I like can't live without that one now. No! If you jump off your mount, then they don't pull you off the mount at least. Good job, Rue. I hate those things. A 150 Anki. Oh, it is so far away from home, though. 3,000 meters from home. Yeah, you have to be... Well, you can cryo dinos anywhere, but you can't uncryo them if I understood it correctly. So, like, I could cryo something... But I couldn't throw it out without the fridge. Is that not right? I've never done it.
he could probably make the walk, that's true. And there were no other... Ankies to get in on the fight with me. I get knocked down. Good grief. This place is misery. <laughs> I know, but I don't have an RG. I don't have an RG. <laughs> Debating. I don't even have any spikes or anything to protect this thing. I knew I saw a terror bird coming. Why are you running from me? Like, I'm trying to fight you. This saber tooth looks like a tiger. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of the whole cringe thing. Cringe thing. Fridge. I just combined cryo fridge and that's that's what that was. So can you regular bola this? No. But I should be able to medium bola it. It would help if I... Yes. Actually... Well, I wasted that. I was trying to cancel it. I would like for it to be, like, up against a wall. So I could try to box it in. Here will have to be good enough. Because this is going to take 22 major berries. It's going to take a long time. But that's all I've got. We're bowling the 150 Anki. Hopefully knocking it out while it's still bowling. Then I'm going to have to craft some... Spikes. No. I'm gonna go down. There we go. We are hot. We are very hot, Fiber. We are dangerously hot, considering that I don't have my tent. <laughs> okay, that was enough. All my heat resistant clothes died. I'm wondering. Uh oh. Injuring myself on my own spikes, not a great plan. Okay, there's a little space here where something could get in for it. Technically. 
No! Oh, I swear. Nothing like dying of heat and then falling into my own spikes. <laughs> oh, we should try getting into the ruse pouch and seeing if that makes a difference. Uh, it does not. Alright, all we have is Mejo Berries. Where's my Moth? Okay. Moth is still out pretty good. I feel like, don't Ankies wake up kind of quickly? I don't want to take this rock down, because as much as it's making it hard for me, I feel like that means it's also going to be hard for others. All right, we got to get out of here. I'm not dying super quickly, but I am very thirsty. Uh, they usually tame before they wake up. Okay. Okay, we got a drink. Thank you, shovel. Some food. Not the micro raptors. Now, yeah, something small will be able to get in there for sure. But again, I'm, I'm doing the same thing where as long I'm hoping that if it stays asleep, I can stay out of render and it will be good. Oh, geez. Okay. I don't know why I just stuttered there, but we're going to save the game just in case. So yeah, the medium bola makes a really big difference. I'm really sad that all my good gilly is dead. We really need to get more organic polymer. The stuff that I had, I got from uh, drops. Like, in theory, I could find more. But mostly, I think we have to get strong enough. No! Okay, we made it. <laughs> I need to get strong enough that I can go um, out into the dunes to fight stuff. Why do we suddenly get stuck? I'm trying to get as close to home as we can. I don't know if I have anything strong enough for the dunes. The dunes seem scary. I've never stepped foot into them before, but they appear to be scary. A bit less than half on our health. I feel like we can make it this time. I mean, like, can a strong raptor handle the dunes? We've got raptors. We've got raptors. We've got. We've got raptors. We've got. Wolves. Wow, the heat stroke is really killing me on the uh oh hey, we're not we're not dying of heat anymore. Uh 
Yeah, especially since even my, like, raptors and stuff, one of them I did tame. A oh, level 40. One of them I did tame, but most of them have been claimed babies, so they didn't get any extra levels. Well, yeah, the deathworms are what I'm worried about. <laughs> the death... The death worms are exactly what I'm worried about. <laughs> we made it home. We made it home. All right, let's see. I need a new hat. New shoes. Uh, bring a lot of this stuff inside. They're easy to get away from. It's easy to run away from the death worms. Uh, I'm hot in here again. I knew I would be. I need more chests already. <laughs> If they're easy enough to escape from, that's not as scary. Uh, thatch. Wood. Fiber. Stone. Silica pearls. Where's my broken hat? The best way to get away from them is to not go to the dunes. <laughs> Sounds legit. Building pieces. There's my broken hat. Oh, I got a map. Hey, we got a treasure map. I didn't even notice. I don't know where Rue picked that up from, but... I'm glad he did. rid of all this claw stuff. Honestly, I'm getting rid of the fur boots, too. You have a lot more I can put into weight. Your health is really good, too. Rue is so good. Yeah, I moved my character from the island over. Yes, chat's right. I was a level 106 when I came over. So I actually haven't leveled, have I? I think I'm still a 106. Yeah, I'm still a level 106. Why does my XP bar not even do anything? I just noticed that, that like... My bar is not doing anything. Oh, I'm at the cap? 106 is the cap? Oh, right, because then you get more levels if you defeat certain bosses. That, that explains it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that makes sense. I am capped out. That makes sense. All right, so let's put on a desert hat. And... Desert cloth boots. Desert gloves. And I think that's the best I can do out of desert stuff. Yeah, I think it is. You look ridiculous. I gotta get my skins back worked out, but... Oh, I went in there to grab the saddle. 
Uh, Lymantria. Okay, we're gonna bring this one. Do I have an Aggie saddle? Oh, I do, an Ascendant one too. 160 armor. Even if I don't ride the Anki home, I'll probably just lead it home. But if I put the saddle on it, then it has the extra armor protection. All right, let's look for uh, loot drops while we wait. Eh, first we're stuck. That is a really high jump. All right. Oh, <laughs> uh, that felt unnecessary. A little extra. Ninety-five male with a baby. Now we need a high-level female Anki. At least one forty-five. Where was there a drop? I saw one. Look for that purplish one. Can't ever tell from a distance if I'm looking at a purple drop or a blue one. Oh wait, we have a treasure map. Yeah, that, that explorer note that I got in the ruin without the mount was totally useless. I, I should grab my extra tent. Thank you. Thank you, Christy. That is a great point. I found a tent in a drop, so I have two of them. And I should definitely bring one. I think I put it in here. Yes. Perfect. Um, and then... Treasure cache level one. Why is it blue? Now it's not. Why is it changing colors? There it is. I keep double clicking. I don't have a Megatherium yet, no. Can I jump over my own wall? I think I can. Oh, well, yep, I can if I do that. <laughs> my chibis from the island. Forgot about those. I forgot about my island chibis. We're gonna miss it. We're gonna miss it. Well, I've had Megatheriums before. They were really good on the island. I actually haven't even seen one. That Rue did have really pretty colors. odd that a lot of the creatures on Scorched Earth are the um, the Arctic creatures on the islands. Apparently there's Yudis too. That Inky's just chilling while his baby gets destroyed. Alright, treasure should be here. Um, 
stone building pieces, okay? <laughs> it wasn't a very good treasure map, to be fair. I didn't expect it to be anything fantastic. Uh, our moth is almost done. But yeah, apparently there's Yudis on a certain, like some mountain has a Yudi on it. There's Sloss, the saber tooths, the di the Deodons, the dire wolves. All of those were in the ice, and now they're in the desert. <laughs> I just feel like some odd choices were made. I am hungry. Eat some jerky. See a cactus brew too. What's happening down there? Lots of things. Our moth is almost good. There's a blue drop. Purple one over there. Let's go get the purple one. Well, we'll try. <laughs> oh yeah, my oil rig. Yes. Next time I go home, I'll get my oil rig. An oil rig I found on like my very first drop and I was like, oh, don't know what to do with this. <laughs> I thought you could just put it anywhere. When I got it, I was like, oh, cool, so I can just put this near my base. But I didn't realize you had to find oil spots on the map. More beautifully colored, so probably terribly leveled Argies. What level are you? 135? That's not terrible. Level are you? 30? No! Run away! I got distracted by the Carno baby. We don't need a Carno baby, but it would have been nice to replace the one we lost. But I'm not gonna murder a Carno family to get a level 30. Oh, there's a lot of, uh... Let's see if this drop is worth it before we go down. As we can check that. I love his little ears. Uh, yeah, see, nothing in that is worth it. A pistol blueprints, some oil jars, some fur boots. <laughs> That is not worth it. I used to try not to use that feature on the spyglass. Because it felt a little extra cheaty, but honestly, like, it's, it's a huge time saver. That one is... Definitely not worth it, and also about to die. Can I see the blue one from this distance? Too far away. Uh, 98 rare mushrooms. No! Oh, we missed it by that much. Mm. 
All the rare mushrooms would have been good if I did decide to tame a roo. Guys, that's a baby 130 female Anki. With the better breeding mod, it would pull the stats from the better parents. I don't want to kill these babies. I wonder... I was gonna see if I could like quickly make it pick up the baby RG. Fighting a bird with a kangaroo is not super easy. Thank you. Oh, baby Carno. It's only level 35. Um, I need berries for you. Okay, baby Anki in the pouch. <laughs> okay, baby is in the pouch. I can use this one to breed with the 150. And because of the better breeding mod, it will automatically pull the best stats. So yeah, even though we've got things taming, we're going straight home with this baby. Because that was a real easy freebie. Stopping to fight you. Our moth is almost tamed. The Yankee's halfway. I remember to feed it. <laughs> no. I got hit by that one. There we go. Are there Carnos on this map? Carnos, sorry. Did I say Carnos? I meant aloes. Are there aloes on this map? Ooh, our moth is tamed. Save real quick. Yeah, sorry, I meant aloes. I haven't seen any. know if I'll ever use this Anki, honestly. Maybe I will. But the important thing is that we have it if we need it. <laughs> Look at the way it's hanging out of the back of the kangaroo because it keeps getting bigger. It's just hanging out the backside of the kangaroo at this point.
What is the buff you're in now? Which one? We've got my cactus brew at the bottom. And the rue has the imprint buff. And I don't know what the food one is. And the better breeding thing still. Oh, okay. You have Alice because you're playing modded. Got it. The countdown one is my cactus brew. So cactus brew. Whoa, look at you. Look at your colors. <laughs> um, yeah, cactus brew helps you. You don't go through water as quickly and it makes you less noticeable to bad things. There was an explorer note there that I probably should have grabbed for a uh, brew here. Okay, that was a big jump. We landed on the roof. Oh no, guys. Oh no. Oh no. When did the Anki get big enough that we lost it? It must have grown up enough to fall out. It's coming. It's still coming with us. It must have grown up to the point that it fell out of our pouch. Oh yeah, it's not a baby anymore at all. Or wait, is it? Hold on. Is it stuck up there? How do I get back up there? Kind of glitched in here at the moment. Oops. <laughs> I have to go up this way and up. Yeah, we almost made it home with him. on this level? Or up higher? See, this is what having an Archie would be nice because he's right there. But apparently on a different height? Yeah, the weather was insane at the beginning. Like, non-stop. It was crazy. How far away is he? We're overheating again. Yeah, thank goodness you can tag him, because I don't know if I would have been able to retrace my steps. Here he is. There you are! She, I should say. Alright, come on. <laughs> She's got such little legs, it's not her fault. I'm gonna keep pausing to make sure that she's keeping up. 
and not getting stuck on her teeny little legs. <laughs> this is just showing how far, though, uh, how long the ride back with the 150 is going to be. Like, that's going to be painful. It's going to be so bad. We need an RG just for that moment. Because he, I mean, he is three kilometers away. That's really, really far. <laughs> Look at her little legs hopping down the mountain. <laughs> See, that's when I need a cryopod. That is when I need a cryopod. She's butt scooting down the mountain. <laughs> the wolves are just hanging out on that side of the wall. So the wall is good for that. All right, she's going to make it. Oops. I actually could make a cryopod because I've got crystal hide. I have regular polymer, just not very much of it. Yeah, it wants kibble. <laughs> That's not going to happen. Actually, let's lead you a little deeper into the base. Well, we'll try if the thing would get out of the way. Oh yeah, oil pump. I should make a cryopod, even if I can't release it yet. Because I have 45 polymer. So I could make at least one to get the thing home. I'm not using the Anki yet, so he'll be fine chilling in the cryopod until I uh, need him for polymer. I wish I could pin this. 10 crystal for polymer. You have to be in range of a cryo fridge to release them. For oil. I mean, I could just make two. How much is a cryo fridge? 30 polymer. And I have 37. Okay. Okay. Um... So let's make three. The problem is if I if I cryo the roux, I won't be able to let it out. I won't be able to let it out if I cryo the roux. I could I oh, I could ride the backup roux. We could ride hops over there if we got them in separate trips. I mean, actually, I could do it anyway. We could ride hops over and then we would just have the Anki and Hops chilling in saddles or in cryopods. Uh, I already forgot the other stuff I needed. <laughs> okay, so 30 fiber, two ingots each, 10 crystal each. So metal ingots. I need six. 30 crystal, which was in this one. Uh, 
30 crystal. Yeah, I'm worried that the moth will fly too low. Alright, 15 fiber each and 5 hide each. So I need 45 fiber and 15 hide. Um, I've already got plenty of hide. So let's grab the fiber. Um, split amount. What did I say? 45? Right? The moth is over there with all those RGs. Granted, I can put a good saddle on it. Where? Oh, Rue's right here. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? Should I play it safe and bring... And bring Rue? Oh, we have another treasure map. An ascendant treasure map. Should we ride hops instead? And then I can cry him if I have to? I think I'm going to do it. I think better safe than sorry. Let's ride hops out instead. Because Rue is a boy. So worst case, we could breed Rue back to Kanga if anything happens to hops. All right, so our first stop needs to be an ob so we can make the cryopods. I could ride a raptor. You know what I didn't bring? You know what I failed to bring? <laughs> saddles there we go now we got the oil rig all right let's uh delete the treasure marker and turn on the oil marker. Ooh, the Anki tamed as well. Okay, good. So the Anki is tamed. The... Oh, speaking of which... No, we put the baby Anki off follow. Okay. The Anki's not following us anymore. Road tacos. <laughs> All right, and then I guess we can head over to Green Ob. All right, let's see. So, how does this work? Okay, cool. And we'll just passively create oil for me. I love it. Green knob is over here, right? I think that's the closest one. Although, maybe not. We're going over here to the moth. Yeah, let's just let's just go to the one right here. <laughs> we could do it in a drop too, but the drops go away if you're not fast enough, and I'm afraid that I wouldn't be fast enough. I know, right? They just run with no power. <laughs> it works to my benefit. But yeah, it is weird. Alright, let's see. Charging. And that was the weakest jump ever. What happened there? I was trying to do the super jump and it completely failed me. Yeah, like I was trying to do this jump. <laughs> You only, right, you only need 
30 seconds. Whoa! Okay. This is the first time that a sandstorm has done this. Uh, that's new. Oh, my storm goggles! It's the goggles. I just got so confused. I got so confused. Okay. Now we need the lime mansion. Well, no, we're going to start with the Anki. Could wait out the sandstorm, but like, eh. The goggles are actually kind of cool. goggles. Yeah, it's weird that like my stamina drains, which doesn't matter. The ruse is a little bit, but not as bad as mine. But it's weird how quickly mine drains. I know, right? Doesn't matter until you find a Microraptor. <laughs> and there's nothing I can do other than stop in my tent, which feels like a waste of time that I might regret later. Especially now that you mention Microraptors. <laughs> Sometimes it's a super jump, and I don't know why. I didn't do anything to make that happen. Hey, Joseph. Good to see you. I thought if you hold the key down longer, if you hold it... Oh, that's a Microraptor. If you hold it, it does look like it's charging up a jump somehow. But that time it did that really huge jump, I just barely tapped space, which is why I mentioned it. I was so confused. Oh good, sandstorm's over. We can run again. It is cool that you pick up sand in a sandstorm. these things really far away so the next goal I have exactly enough polymer luckily from the drop so the next goal will be to have a cryo fridge so I can get these guys out of their cryos but this was a this is much better than walking the Anki all the way back Because that would have been a nightmare. I mean, even running all this way by Rue is kind of annoying. I have a 
couple hundred metal, which might be enough. And I have some spots marked for metal again. I gotta look into the power to see what I need. I was hoping I'd find some in drops. I realized when I was looking at my engrams that I never even unlocked a ton of stuff because I just found it in drops on the island and didn't need to worry about it. But yeah, I need power and then I can get the fabricator, which will also help. And then... I can get the uh, cryo fridge. I can see your messages, Joseph. Okay, I'm trying to skip past you. Sheesh. be hurting himself trying to come help me right now. Two twenty four. Forty in health, forty three in stamina, forty one in melee. 34 and wait. Not bad. All right, let's put his saddle on. And then our very first cryopod. We never even cryopoded on the islands. There we go. Our Anki is in the pod. Let's go get our moth. Oh, I did see your messages in Mozzie's chat earlier, Joseph. But I could see them, so I thought it got fixed. So, the moth is on the other side of this mountain thingy, because it's still 900 away. So yeah, we gotta run around this. Okay, we need to not get stuck first. There we go. What a cool colored Carno. Of course you're 25. This mountain is just like Carnos everywhere. <laughs> On such a weird terrain. Ah, uh, yeah, Joseph. The, the ones where you were saying the chat was borked. So, true, if there was more before that, then I couldn't see it. But yeah, I'm glad it's fixed-ish. I was going to say, is my tent dead? It's not. So let's see how it follows first. Let's see if I... 
run for it. Does it stay safe? And not get stuck? It's slow is the problem. It definitely can't keep up. But it's keeping from being attacked. I should have put its saddle on. Hey, Terry, good to see you. Wow, yeah, that's a lot, Joseph. There we go. Okay, so we're going to get back, and then we're going to take this thing for a ride. <laughs> Oh, make sure it's on passive. Good point. I literally whistled passive. Oh, you know what, though? This is like the other thing where my whistles weren't working. Jerboa was killed! Oh, did I throw my Jerboa off? I think I did. Alright, well, we lost Seafoam. Oh god, that thing scared me. No! I don't know why... I'm hoping to restart and fix it. I don't know why all of my... It's like when my gamma keys stopped working. Attacking your target. See, this is my passive... Yeah, it's not changing anything. I can change it here. Uh, and I'm going to put my saddle on it so it's at least got the armor. I think I, I misclicked and I tossed him off my shoulder. And then he died. <laughs> I'll give him a chance to catch up. Wait, is he getting hit by bugs? That's a red drop. No. Focus? That red drop probably has the best loot I've ever seen in my life. But it's not worth it. <laughs> no, I don't have whistles set to a group. And they worked up until today. So whatever messed them up is new. I know red loot is good, but you're awesome. What if our mop dies? Hey, Darren, good to see you. Thank you for continuing to be a member. Mm 
Okay, here it comes. Catching up, right? Jersey after the Jersey Mothman. Oh. I like it. We're going to need to name our Ankies too because we got them home, theoretically. We're not quite there yet. You know what? Let's go around this way. So we don't have to fight that whole pack of wolves that's waiting at my gate. We'll just sneak in, you know, my very secure entrance over here. <laughs> I don't think he flies much faster when I'm on him. I don't think that they're very fast. Alright, we made it. Wow. Wow. We collected a lot of cactus. Alright, let's take a look at its stats. Weight's 287. Health of almost 3,000. Let's get it above 3,000. Then let's pump some weight on it. We're flying! Let's fly to the top of this mountain because we can. <laughs> Just because we can. <laughs> and, and then we can put out the, the fart loud. We can fly. Tippity top. We gotta get to the tippity top. Hey, look, crystal. <laughs> oh, obsidian. I don't know what I need that for, but we have it. That's a yellow drop with a ring on it. But I don't think the moth is gonna be good for like I don't know. I mean, obviously not combat, so... Look at all this crystal. Look at all these drops. <laughs> We're so cute, though. I don't care if it's not super practical. It's adorable. I love her. <laughs> Can I put a hat on it? There's a costume slot. I don't know if I can. Hey, Forza. Yeah, we need polymer. Oh, obsidian and something else can make polymer. Okay. Well, now we know where to get it. The spot where the yellow drop with the ring is like absolute death. I've been there. <laughs> Alright, you're on passive and you're gonna chill on the roof where you're safe. Nothing can get you up there. There's also red drops. Uh. So yeah, if I try to throw him out, can't deploy no nearby cryo fridge. So he's definitely stuck. I could bring my gun. The fair point. It is a fair point. Mostly though, it's it's one of those like, oh, just one more chapter, one more drop, one more minute. 
I'm coming up on four hours of stream time. It is midnight here and I need to go to bed. I need to go to bed. We have a get together at my parents tomorrow because my grandparents are going to be going home to Massachusetts. So they're having like a party to go see them. So it's bedtime. If it wasn't bedtime, I would probably go do that because there's a red drop I really want to. But we're going to we're going to be good. We're going to be good. Um, oh, yeah. The dogs don't care. The dogs are going to get up at five one way or the other, no matter what time I go to bed. So. I should be done, but we actually made a ton of progress today. For a while it didn't feel like it, but we really did. We got, um, we've got Rue up to 217, so he's officially past hops, um, at that major level. We got an Anki, we got two Ankies, so we got a breeding pair of Ankies, we have a flyer, um, we made the um the bolas so now we know we can bola a um a thyla and an rg um oh yeah wonder if you could because i never even did name the gallimimuses and i gotta name the moth yes if you could send me the names we we uh decided on wonder that would be perfect i'll get them all named up i don't actually think i have a lot that i want to get done before next time because i don't want to do too much without you guys here to watch um Maybe I will do some drop runs if I've got time. I'm not sure which day next week we're going to do this, but I will be going in over the weekend to update my schedule for next week. I do plan it in advance and put it in the event section on my Discord if you are curious what day next week we'll be back to this. Otherwise, the streams get put up on YouTube on the day of. So if you enjoyed tonight's stream and you haven't done so already, please like and subscribe and ring the notification bell so you don't miss the next one. And until then, have a good one, everyone.